And there we are. Hello. What is up? Uh, good Hello. evening, Wooly. Good morning, Gerald. Yes. Uh, Thanks for having me. This is a this is a a nice experience. Uh, it's really early in the morning right now. You can see the sunlight hitting my face. Yeah, uh, it's evening over there. Yeah, yeah. You can see the morning. sunlight from the other direction hitting our face. <laughs> <laughs> it is like yeah, literally. This is a triple time zone podcast uh, going on here. I had to. I, I found there's uh, some meeting making technology that can actually like get people together and go like these are the time zones that'll work so for anyone that freaked out when i announced it would be 8 p.m hopefully it's understandable that to figure out montreal uh vancouver and korea takes uh, uh some juggling but we got there and um yo we got corey gaming here with us on the podcast gerald himself who we've been talking about for fucking ever uh thanks for joining us yeah, thanks for having me. It's uh, it's a, uh, it's it's an honor. It might be cheesy to say, but uh, you know, I've been watching you guys been doing stuff for you know quite a while. You guys been uh, there during the MCN days. Remember yeah. that era? So, I was um, just talking on my stream yesterday about how that just evaporated overnight. <laughs> there, Literally overnight, just there, poof. There was an era. I never looked at it and called it and heard it as referred to as that until this point. But yes. The MCN days were, in fact, a thing. Um, and I mean, yeah, just, you know, uh, uh, in terms of, like, philosophizing and explaining um, fucking fighting games, man. It's a thing. It's a real cool thing. You do it, like, better than just about everybody. And uh, that shit is real real fun real great easy to recommend to people love doing that as like a lot of the stuff uh uh i try to do is aimed at newcomers so your videos are fucking amazing for that and um it's become insanely relevant with street fighter 6 getting so many people interested because uh as i was uh, saying just before uh i've been droning on about this shit for a decade now uh to most of which people will just reply with the sleep emoji uh emotes and just kind of go like move on to the next topic but now that six is actually connecting some dots and firing the synapses it's like oh shit i understand a little bit of what i've heard you know somewhere when i was falling asleep while he talked about fighting games so like i feel like it's a perfect time to reintroduce some of those old concepts as well that are just explaining things as simple as like uh what's the point of um what the the, the use of salt you know or or motion yeah. inputs or all of that, you know, the 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 obviously the the miracle of Pakistani Tekken. Like, I want to get into a bunch of that stuff, but uh, hell yeah, you're doing an amazing yeah, job, uh, man. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, the, the a, a new game like Street Fighter Six coming out. Uh, there's always like that period in a, a new fighting game, uh, a new version, a new iteration, where it's like you have a lot of the old players who are used to playing the older games, and then you have a bunch of new players coming in. And of course, if you look at Street Fighter Six, they've obviously uh, you know taken account of that because you have the modern controls, right? And mm -hmm. uh, and I'm you know I haven't talked too much about Street Fighter Six. I guess that's what I can do here if that's all right. But uh, absolutely, it's uh, uh, modern please. controls uh, are kind of like a, it's 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 interesting because it's tournament legal, right? And um, you can actually uh, that's actually a, you know a valid way of playing. And I think a lot of people are kind of frustrated with the idea that like there's uh, there's this control scheme in Street Fighter now that's like official, and mm -hmm. um, and I've made videos like uh, about Fantasy Strike, about you know mm -hmm. uh, you know Rising Thunder, about the, the one button special uh, f fighting games, and uh, I think yeah this has kind of been introduced in there, but I, I don't I think it's kind of like I mean they've they've kind of balanced it and uh, i think there's like a if you play the the easier controls uh, where you don't have to do the motion inputs there's like a 20 percent damage reduction i think yeah yes. and uh and there's like certain moves you can't do i think you can't do like jumping medium punch and certain all these like important things just don't exist mm -hmm, for those characters mm -hmm. yeah yeah so i mean overall i think um you know we've seen this in other games like uh, uh grand blue versus where uh, in that game, they didn't have like a separate control s mode or scheme, but they just kind of like uh, had it so that you can do the um, the motion version or the non-motion version, and they would have different properties. Yeah. And so, um, and I, yeah, I, you know, to be honest, I think it's kind of a, a it's a it's a it's a fair balance. 
to, to have it that way. Because obviously, if you can't just make it so... You can't just erase everything people have learned for, you know, years. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But then at the same time, it's like you're you're trying to, you know, bring new people into the game. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's for these companies, it's about finding that right balance. And, um, yeah, so far, uh, I mean, the game's only been out for like a week or whatever. So I, I haven't really played it that much. Maybe like maybe like a good... 10, 10 to 15 hours? I don't know. Is that a lot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm up for like 68. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> you get, you okay. get a, getting a feel for these things, obviously, it's going to take years. But like, in, at least in terms of like these big decisions, you know, I've been real curious about uh, your thoughts on that because, yeah, like, obviously, there's a couple of different things that come to mind when I think of like Street Fighter 6 and the modern controls. There's the fact that, um, uh, also, while I'm at it, shout outs to your constant usage of Rising Thunder music. Way to rep that shit. Oh, and good. Remind everybody <laughs> that that game existed because a huge Rising Thunder fan, Dauntless for Life, you know. Um, oh, man. And uh, yeah, so that game being, you know, something that is a great example of here's a, the simplest possible execution inputs. At the same time, I remember in, um, a, in one of the earlier videos, you mentioned, you, you I think the quote is literally, yeah, I, I don't think I'd ever want a one button Shoryuken, you know, it, it was uh, something you'd mentioned. And it, it's, it is interesting to see like now me as well, having had that discussion with people about like the point of having to take an extra second to like put an input out in a moment of like stress and what that makes up for and what that means. Um, and now the compromise ultimately being one where we'll see how it shakes out. But yeah, I think, you know, um, the the idea that you can start with this, have a little bit of, a, have a damage reduction on the shortcuts that you do use. And um, and then the, the big thing for me is the fact that they let you do the full motion and encourage you by giving you 100% damage if you do the full motion, even if you're in mm-hmm. controls, you know? And so, that encourages so, the, the idea of, like, maybe I can try it out here, you know? Yeah, so here's here's something that's kind of been running in my, my brain um, when thinking about this is, what if, what if the next Evo champion wins with modern controls throughout the Talking whole Talking about that, man! <laughs> yeah, I want yeah. that so bad! Yeah, what if John Takeuchi's Luke comes through with modern and just makes it all the way through there are going to be people like high ranking in modern for sure we're already seeing people that are doing stuff with it like um it's possible right if you look at the tools and go all right i don't have this button i don't have this uh, i'm missing maybe uh like i think like like lily misses like she doesn't get an overhead um which is a nice tool to have um but Mm -hmm. some people are lacking bit more tools than others but if you find a way to work without it and you just kind of go what i'm what i'm sacrificing is that tool but i'm making up for it with instant confirms instant reaction to whatever you're doing uh with the level three you know just guaranteed um anti-airs every time just that mm-hmm. little bit of an edge, you know? It's like, maybe that's enough. Maybe that is enough to, to see someone go all the way. Yeah, and so I guess the question is, like, is this... I mean, we don't know right now, but and right now it seems like there's no... Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it seems like a long shot that that would be the case. But, mm-hmm. I mean, we've seen stuff like, uh, you know, modern uh, Zangief, uh, you know, with spinning pile drivers and, uh, you know, uh, where you don't have to do the motion. And... Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, some some people are figuring out stuff, and I think uh, I'm wondering if in the future um, of this game, if the modern control scheme will just be like another a character, another just mm, option, and group. everyone's just kind of like, uh, okay, maybe this this character with modern is is good, but uh, this character with you know uh, the classic scheme is not as good, and then there's like a, a new tier list where yeah. they'll they'll put like a character plus modern. I don't know. That's if the modern stuff can. Um, you know, keep up later, but I, I guess, uh, I guess we'll have to see. I mean, there haven't been too many tournaments. I, I went to um, DreamHack in Dallas, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm from Dallas. I was there uh, visiting my parents uh, who were, were living there, and uh, uh, yeah, I just stopped by. I didn't even know they were having the event, and uh, that was like, I think, the day after Street Fighter Six came out. And um, I, when I was getting in there, I was like, okay, if I lose, my excuse is just going to be uh, anybody who beats me just played the crack and that's why i lost so <laughs> i went into the uh, <laughs> yeah and uh and so um yeah just um uh you know playing this game and, and seeing that uh there's 
people are already really good at the game, but I mean, obviously, the, it's just a joke. I mean, it's, you don't have to, uh, you know, play the crack to be good on day one in Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. People have been playing this game forever, right? Uh, so, um, it's uh, it, it's it's definitely something that um, I'm interested in the, the the term onboarding when it comes to uh, new games with like a you know um, high skill level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, we like we're sitting around like we the three of us in here know how to play fighting games, right? Like modern controls could have just not happened, and it wouldn't have made much difference to us. And I like what you were saying earlier about the possibility of characters tiering along different lines based on modern. Um, during the beta, I don't remember uh, the players' names, but there were a bunch of guiles floating around that were showing off, you know, trapping you in the corner for 30, 40, 50 seconds, just infinite sonic booms from one foot away because Modern just let it get so consistent. But a lot of the people watching this show and a lot of the people that, like, show up in our streams are trash. They're, They're garbage, right? And my wife is one of those. My wife does not play fighting games. And modern controls as well as some excellent videos explaining the basics of things like frame data like from core a gaming have enabled my wife who has never really gotten into fighting games to hop on with like manon and get into a place where uh, we were playing on stream for a couple hours first of all it did not feel like a couple hours despite the fact she was brand new but uh someone pointed out that it's like it's nice to see that as a brand new player like sit down first time on on the controls she was making mistakes due to knowledge checks yeah not because she didn't know what she wanted to do yeah she knew she wanted to jump in she knew she wanted to throw off a block she knew this she knew that but the practice wasn't there and like the knowledge checks of like how jabs work or how frame advantage specifically works on lights wasn't there but it it takes it from that period i think the worst part about fighting i love fighting games but like for the longest time i'd look over and like oh how do i play fighting games and it's like well smash exists and a person can play smash in 10 minutes and where we had ultimate adding fighting game motion inputs to characters to give them more now street fighter has brought that reality down to humans new it, humans to it, actually it, start enjoying themselves it's always been it's always been a, a discussion point to be like okay there's a there's learning how to do things and then there's the the starting line where i know what's going on here now the decision making is where the fun is happening and it's like it's always been uh, 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 laborious to kind of like explain that part and kind of some people will be like, well, I guess I'm just not in to go that far in, you know. Um, it, it's particularly interesting here because, yeah, as we we're talking about the idea of different tiers and such, like uh, if, if something like, if you know, Persona 4 Arena ha- and Ultimax had the like shadow versions and regular versions being separated, I, I'm for sure mm-hmm. expecting to see M and C on a complete tier list that people make, you know, da- uh, uh, in the near future when um, this game gets more more time into it. But when we think about the potential for someone to go uh, all the way with it and, and, like, place top eight, place grand finals, you know, and, and maybe even win, uh, I feel as if, like, there's also a good chance that, like, the person that does that is someone who's brand new to the franchise because mm-hmm. I feel like adapting over to modern with all this 20, 30 years of history of the way to play these fighting games. Oh, I can't do it. It it really has to, it de- you have to delete things from your brain to get used to it, you know? And uh, your instincts keep fighting you the whole way versus someone who comes in with a fresh eyes on, on it um, but is willing to lab and go as far as, as they need to as they would play anything else competitive. That might be the exact type of person that could do it, you know? Yeah, and, um, you know, I've, I've kind of, uh, you know, sympathized a little bit more with... Um, you know, people who are new to these games that are playing against people who have, I don't know, I mean, this is like Street Fighter, how old is Street Fighter, right? Like 1991, I guess Street mm-hmm. Fighter 2, the, the game that blew up. But, um, so... 31 years, you know, 32 years, he, something like that. Like yeah, it's, yeah. It's like one of the oldest esports, uh, you know, if, if you don't count like Pong and, and stuff like that, right? But um, it's... Uh, it, 
the moment that I realized that I uh, that you know you can you can be in a situation where it's like just unwinnable because there's there are people that have been playing for su super long time. It was StarCraft, uh, Brood War. Um, so I live in Korea, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Brood War is still like a hot game here. Uh, tons of it's basically like chess for for South Korea, right? It's uh, there's like cab drivers that will you know destroy like top players and you know talk mad shit, right? There's um, <laughs> this is uh, so basically um, I, as an experiment, uh, not as an experiment, I guess. Uh, so um, I, I guess you guys are familiar with uh, Tasteless. Uh, he's out here in Korea and. Uh, he uh, he wanted to kind of teach me Brood War, right? This this, this super old game um, that uh, where the skill level is so high, and I I I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna try to take this serious. And he started printing me out like build oh, orders boy. for the game. I, I I chose this race. Mm -hmm. I chose Protoss. Yeah. And, yeah. And uh, and yeah. There's in StarCraft culture, it's really similar to the fighting game culture where everyone just trashes on each other each other's character with or race or whatever with no remorse and uh yeah it's uh, it's pretty funny but i i was playing protoss and i was just i'm at the bottom rank right there's like a mm -hmm. ladder system uh battle net and i'm just uh i i think i played something like i think i it took me 60 games to win once and this is starcraft this isn't fighting games where like a match can end like in a in a couple minutes right this is this is starcraft right so i actually spent a lot of time Mm -hmm. And uh, and then a friend was just like, "Oh, it's you know, it's probably just some kid on the other side that's just mashing on the keyboard." I'm like, "No, I, I earned that win." But at the moment, I, I really I could really feel that this is just this is very this is so hard to to overcome. And uh, you know, I mean, you know, everyone can just tell me to get good, Gerald. You know, you you tell people to get good. I mean. You know, we can say the same to you. Uh, it when it, comes to it Brood works War. in some situations, but like, d my dad's like in his seventies. I will never defeat my father at a game of pool. Right. I could play pool for forty years, starting now, <laughs> and I will yeah. never ever beat him before he dies because legacy skills don't go away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think something that's interesting though about like having the separate mode and then. Um, having the two interact together and having it be, again, tournament legal. And, you know, like there's dynamic, which is, of course, not. But uh, modern being designed to be something that's that's integral while also helping new players out um, is the idea that games have had easy modes in the past before, right? Guilty Gear Exert had stylish and all the way back Marvel vs. Capcom 1 had easy or, you know, regular, right? Oh. So there, I think, is another part of this that is it's not just the fact that there's a, a, a different mode accessible, it's also that this game has made it so that I think people's perception of what that mode is doesn't feel as condescending to pick, necessarily. I think a part of what kept people from some of those modes in the in previous games, even if they were, like, terrible, like, easy operation, you know, in, in CVS2 and things like that... Um, was the idea that they're they've kind of felt like oh but I don't I feel bad I don't want to be looked down on for picking this you know um, and I think like the the looking at it and going like okay how can we balance this out and make it so that you know if somebody feels like wait is this cheap am I you know like should I do I feel, should I feel bad for using this and it's like no because you're actually missing some stuff and it mm -hmm. balances out in the end I think is like something helpful and I think it's also like. There's definitely a, a whole fight that's going on right now online with a lot of people that are, you know, being much more gatekeepy as expected about things and uh, 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 aggressive about about anybody that is like actually interested in fighting games for the first time because of modern. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, I think in the end, like those voices will just have to kind of acknowledge that it's like we've seen this genre try many things for. Uh, three decades now and um if you want it to not just survive but thrive like you have to make what you would consider concessions but actually just open things up in a way and i think street fighter 6 does a great job of like doing that with this kind of feature while also making sure that the the core of what you like about the gameplay the the competitive side of it if you're focused on that is really really tight is feels really really good and leaves nothing to be desired you know um 
people aren't talking about this game on launch. They were talking about Street Fighter V on launch competitively. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? In any way, shape, or form. And I think by offering a solid product that leaves such like little room for complaint with like how that's going, you can not bear down as hard on something that is like meant to invite more people across the bridge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, definitely. I mean, you mentioned Street Fighter V. I, I feel, I do feel that uh, a big part of the Street Fighter V's launch being the way it was was because uh, I think it was partly because it was kind of an impl incomplete game. Remember the story mm -hmm. mode oh, stuff, was, and they wanted a. It was um, extremely it was just, an incomplete game. Yeah, just completely bare bones, and also like if you look at the gameplay mechanics, like they haven't made some very important decisions uh, when the game had come out. For example, like invincible reversal. DPs, how are we going to do that? And they, uh, I think it took a year uh, after the game came out until they realized, oh no, this this game needs to be um, have an EX bar used to have an invincible reversal DP. Mm -hmm. And um, looking at stuff like that uh, later, I realized, oh wait, this game, this was basically like the Windows Vista of Street Fighter games, right? It's just yes. like oh, it iterated was, and it, as it's designed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then like and then like Street Fighter Six, I feel is like a like the Windows Seven, where it's like okay, everything's kind of come together, and like mm -hmm. oh, now we've kind of understand what this game's um, supposed to be from the start, and um, yeah, just the uh, I mean, there's a lot of like a lot of the meta is Street Fighter Five, but then the the way the normals feel the range of the normals um is kind of street fighter 4 they're longer uh, i i prefer that because um i don't want to have the, the t-rex arm a neutral game um mm -hmm. maybe some people enjoy that but i i like to have a good long uh low medium kick with ryu and uh and you know just um you know play that kind of game and uh, of course with the the drive impact and and the the new mechanics they they actually did some interesting stuff i think um mechanically because they they have the parry which i mean obviously it's not like a third strike parry but there is like if you if you can time stuff really well with the parry you can get the counter and you can you can uh, punish your opponent that's uh, i'm playing honda right now um don't judge me but uh it's uh mm -hmm. it's definitely you can feel that the people who know how to parry can just change the matchup completely so they had give that mechanic and then uh, then there's the uh, uh, drive impact, which kind of feels like a, a focus attack, level three focus. That's mm -hmm. instant uh, and but blockable. Um, and uh, and yeah, they just put a bunch of stuff. And then of course, um, it's like well, you know, stun is a big part of the Street Fighter mechanic and chip damage. But those are things that were kind of going on the wayside, right? So like mm -hmm. the I, I remember when Street Fighter Five, they made um, um, they just made it so you couldn't get chip killed, right? You could get chipped, but you couldn't get chip killed, and I, I, I didn't like that because it's like, um, it's like, uh, it felt kind of like a lazy comeback mechanic, I guess. If you think about it, you if you're blocking special moves and you're losing health, that's the rule, right? Yeah. But it's just like, well, now because you got hit enough and you have no health, we'll make you invincible to that now. Now you get invincibility mm -hmm. to uh, chip damage at the very end, and then. That's the that's the mechanic. That's what we're gonna do about this chip damage thing, right? Whereas, like in Street Fighter VI, I think one of the things that I like uh, with what they did was they kind of put the burnout system as kind of like, okay, now you're at a disadvantage. Now there's there's chip damage. There's chip kills. Now there's stun, uh, and um, it kind of left those kind of things in, uh, which are you know, uh, to be honest, they're they're kind of like the fun parts of Street Fighter from the older games. Uh, doing a uh, a checkmate uh, chip yes, setup yes. is mm -hmm. dope. I, I think that's awesome. And so I, uh, but they they managed to keep it in. And in a lot of ways, like uh, oftentimes you try to just put everything and make everyone happy or whatever. It usually falls flat on its face. But I think uh, so far they've they've done a pretty good job with just kind of like um, keeping all the the good aspects um, you know in the game without right. like making it fall apart. I don't know. They, yeah, they did a good job with that. I, I mean, I, I feel like that, like as you, you mentioned it, like the keyword there, like the, the feeling of a checkmate uh, setup mm -hmm. is what they. I feel like they're trying to avoid because Street Fighter Four had such a couple situations like that, and then yeah, Five was going way the other way. Here, it's based on push pressing the advantage or creating a disadvantage because burnout is a result of your your decisions, right? Yeah, I, um, I totally agree. I'm I'm in this situation where it doesn't happen to me very often, but if I do get a chip kill, it's like I work my ass off to put them into a state in which chip even hurts them at all. 
So mm-hmm. if I get them, and it, I mean, it used to in four, he's like, you're getting fireballed to death in the fucking corner and you just don't know how to get out. Like, ah, oh, this, this doesn't feel very fun. But if the guy manages, he got me in a burnout. I made tons of mistakes. Good, good. Yeah. Fine. And fine. Burnout, burnout was the thing I was worried about the most on paper because the idea of there being a tired state in Street Fighter was like, oh no, is everything going to change? Do moves get weaker? Is this like, you know, like I, I, the idea of that kind of like affecting the fundamental game in, su- in a, such a large way was like, really really questionable and when i kind of realized it was like oh actually it's really just like chip damage your ability to Mm -hmm. do you know things that cost ex and and your drive system which you kind of need to thrive but the basics are still there um but you can't go above and beyond with it right and and the fact that like in terms of being weaker it's like no it just makes you um a little more minor it makes you more like your everything's extra four extra frames right on block and uh you have to hold that a lot more in that type of situation is like a way of like making it a big disadvantage but not like completely insane you know if you have fundamentals and you're still good at like uh, footsies and you're still good at spacing and you know uh with punishing you can still fight back from burnout but um if they didn't go too overboard with it that feels really really smartly designed yeah, and um, the way you get into burnout, of course, is the is you you have to lose meter your ex meter um, all the way, or um, you know burn it somehow, or if you block, you lose that meter. Um, there's that that meter system is interesting to me too because it's it's kind of um, I think uh, I feel like I think Tekken Eight is kind of going that direction where mm-hmm. at the beginning of the match you can make the fireworks fly right. There's mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. you you have like so many bars of meter, so um, it's from from the get go, you can do you know your fancy big uh, cancel combos and and um, you know big damage and but what's interesting about that uh, uh, the mechanic is kind of it's kind of the other way right so before you were trying to build meter right in in Street Fighter games or in a lot of games you're in some cases you can just whiff a normal to build meter and then uh, oh. you have like third strike where the good old uh, days man yeah yeah where chun li would do this, this move the, the, yeah. yeah yeah the, the chun chun yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so um it dragon it's, ball uh, charging, really yeah um yeah so i, I guess is 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 that's kind of a way to get around that and i always felt that meter was um felt uh, for the better or worse in fighting games kind of like uh like a a financial system right mm, right so right. It, it's um it, you you hear the analogies from commentators like oh you know uh, yipes will say you know uh, oh he, he spent the cash uh at the end of the round or mm-hmm. or whatever and and uh and so there's kind of this like you earn this and then you don't want to die you know a millionaire uh, you want to spend some spend the money first right so right. then you have this kind of uh it's like it's like this cash system and how good are you with uh conserving it and earning it and um eking out every little bit to maximize your gameplay right so uh that the gameplay from there it is a little bit uh, that meter system is a little bit different but um but yeah i'm still uh so far um you know i'm enjoying it but um we'll have to see these are games that people play for long periods of time so Mm -hmm. um and the opinions change this is the thing about like impressions of fighting games like whenever i see like a review that's you know, uh, put up like too early. Uh, usually, I'm a little skeptical of just reviews that are put up too fast in general because, I mean, did this person really have time to really absorb the game? But with fighting games, especially, I feel this is where um, something that uh, that you do need some time to soak in before you can get like mm-hmm. uh, a more accurate viewpoint. You can have first impressions, early impressions. Um, that's all valuable and good. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, I've had games where I you know I loved it at the beginning, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can play this for years <laughs> you know, yeah. i would play this for for months but i don't know about years and then there's the other way around where i'm like i like i don't know if i can you know like you know play this at all like uh, it, it tech tekken is one of those games where it's like all right you play you know the t- current tekken game so you can prepare for the next second game basically it's <laughs> okay. what it feels like right it's like after two years it's you're gonna be like oh okay i get it <laughs> right uh so yeah that's um every odd number. I guess that's an example of, yeah 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 the the um I mean and it's it's always uh, uh I I always have to applaud when I see again design wise a way to come up with you know um 
that system that's really smart, like you like you were mentioning, the uses of drive. Um, the uses that you know, I, I, uh, people are adapting to it really nicely, and then it also harkens back to Third Strike. Here's your parry. Street Fighter Four. Here's your focus attack. Street Fighter, you know, Five. Here's your drive rush. Here's a, a, a brand new thing, um, and it's all that together. But at the same time, by putting all of these mechanics on what was your guard meter and taking it off of your super meter, the spectacle is preserved so that you can still engage, do cool things, and do flashy combos with your EXs and such, uh, ODs, excuse me, and still have a super meter to cash out on something that feels cool and people that are beginners want to enjoy landing that big move, you know? And the, the idea that um, you would have to spend a little bit of super to do any of those ama you know, very useful tools um, it's a sacrifice that, like, yeah, I think uh, uh, beginner players is like, oh, but I want to just save up to do my cool thing. You hey, know? man, you, like, I've been playing fighting games for decades, and I, you and I played, like, 100,000 matches of Third Strike. I fucking hate using EX moves. I want to <laughs> use my super every <laughs> single time. Yeah. I'm not I'm not sitting here so I can see a slightly yellower fireball that hits twice. I'm here to see Shin Shoryuken and Street Fighter 6 has finally just go nah you do it all. Do do everything. Just do both in a both. Fuck it. It's spectacle, but there's also the the tactical usage of because you yeah, you want those moves. You do want the yellow move. The yellow move is so much better. <laughs> yeah, but Young... I don't want the yellow move at the expense of the bigger move. <laughs> of, the, of the big cool move, right.